Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. Joel here, I'm here with Derek Duncan. We are here in Iberia, Missouri at the Gadsden Shooting Center. And Derek came to me recently with a pretty sweet idea for a video, so Derek's gonna tell us what that's all about. Hey guys, as Joel said, I called him with an idea for a video that I thought would be cool, and so hopefully some of you do as well. One of the neatest things about this Precision Rifle game is the innovations that come out, the new technology, just the creative ideas that come out of nowhere. And so today we're here to kind of talk about some of that, but really analyze and study uh, if it really can help you as a new shooter or an experienced shooter. We're really gonna look at three things today. Uh, everyone runs a bag system of some sort, but with all these new barricade rail systems coming out, I started thinking, I wonder if it really makes a difference. A lot of people have talked about how much steadier it is and different things like that, but no one's really actually analyzed it and studied it in a scientific way. So our idea is we're gonna run a benchmark stage, the PRS barricade stage. And with that, we're gonna run it just the stock. We're gonna run it with these black branch bags, okay? And then we're gonna run it with a new, really cool barricade system by Ingenuity Gunworks. And we're gonna look at two components, total hits, and time that it takes because that's what they base it on at the PRS competitions to break ties. That being said, one of the other really neat, interesting things we're gonna try today is Side Shot Scope Cam came out with a, a way for us to actually be able to record what I see in the scope. And so you'll be able to follow with us how steady I am or aren't on these different uh, deals. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so here we go. This is the first run with just the stock. Now, I could wedge in the corners here and create a much more stable platform, which is what I would normally do, but I'm not gonna do that because obviously the purpose of this demonstration is to see which one is steadier. So I'm gonna go in the middle on each one of these uh, barricades with, with both the bag and the, and the rail. The one thing I will do is grab a hold of my bipod and try to press forward to create some force and, and lock it into place. Uh, so without further ado, you're about to see what it looks like through the scope. Okay guys, first run was pretty good, seven out of eight, uh, much quicker than I expected. I was kind of rushing a little bit in a match. If I had to do it without a bag, I'd probably slow it down. Um, so I think that time might be a little skewed, but second run, we're gonna run with the Black Branch bag. Uh, you should notice in the Collis Skimmer 3 reticle, it's gonna be much more stable. I got pretty lucky on wind on that one. The wind was pretty, uh, pretty low key and chill. So here we go, let's see what we do with this run. Impact. 
back. Seventy-one forty. Okay, guys, the run with the bag went pretty well. Seven for eight. I pulled one a little high. That was on me, but you probably noticed I was much more stable. Time was very similar. Uh, normally, I run that in about seventy to seventy-two seconds with the bag. So, really curious to see how this does with the barricade stop. Now, I'm going to treat it as though I don't know how wide the barricade is. So, I'm actually going to do the adjustment on the fly, and uh, let's see how many hits we get. Pay attention to the, the skimmer three reticle and. Uh, let's see how steady we can get. Is that recording? Yep. Holy crap. You good? Back. Holy crap, dude. 42.62. Oh my gosh. The hits were pretty easy. It went seven for eight on everything. I would argue on the bag, the rail, and the bag rail, I pulled one. So that was on me. Uh, I should have gone eight for eight on those. Um, on, without anything, I probably did a little better than I normally would have. I probably would have gone six for eight or maybe five for eight on that. Uh, the times, though, there was a huge variance. With nothing, I ran about 70 seconds. With the bag alone, the Black Branch bag, I ran 71 seconds, uh, but I was much more stable, as you can see in the scope cam footage. The barricade stop cut the time down tremendously. The Ingenuity gun rail rail system was awesome. You can see it was almost like being prone. That was 42 seconds, um, and so that was, that was really an advantage. You guys come to an assumption yourself as far as what you think. Uh, I think the punchline is you don't need anything to be a, a good shooter. You don't need anything. You can hit seven out of eight no matter what you do. But some of these neat technologies that are coming out are certainly worth uh, at least looking at as they make you much more stable. What I would do, buy both of them. I think the Black Branch bag and the Ingenuity gun rail system is awesome and uh, really, really neat. Um, but there is no bag, there is no rail, there is no money you can spend in this game that will substitute for practice. So get out there and go practice.